chairs are like. What's up, guys? Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood, about to join Mark Ballas in the recording studio. Mark, I walk into your studio and I immediately feel cooler. Oh, that, that's good. <laughs> yeah, this is a great place. It's got um, a really good vibe and it's kind of a hole in the wall. Like, you don't really know what's going to be behind the door. You walk in, there's kind of a reception area with a huge iguana cage. So that kind of throws you for a loop. And then, uh, you know, we've got the control room here. And uh, the live room in here will be, uh, you know, track all the live instruments and stuff. And there's a cool little porch hangout in the back. So it's just got a great vibe and it's, um, it's a good space to work out of. Our mascot homie, Herbert. Well, he's claiming his territory right now. There isn't really a debut date yet. No, so yet. give me a little bit. Give me some goods. Uh, man, I mean, we've been playing a lot of shows. Um, I've been headlining the Sayers Club on Mondays. We did 10 weeks in a row, great crowds. It was pretty much sold out every week. And they just moved us to Saturday, so now we're going to be doing that. And I play with an nine, eight to nine piece band, which is always fun. We're doing a lot of live shows. We're playing a lot of the record there and, you know, testing out what we like live and finding different ways to do it. But as far as the release date or the record being done, it's just kind of unpredictable right now. I feel like it's when we listen to the whole thing and be like, yep, that's it, then that's when it'll be ready going to have sort of a flavor of the music you grew up with? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of funk and pop and R&B and soul. I love live instruments. You know, I've been a guitar player since I was nine, went to music school. And so for me, yeah, there's lots of live elements. It's meaningful, and uh, but it's fun at the same time. You know, it kind of puts all the essences that I kind of represent as an artist. You know, there's elements of flamenco in there, pop, funk, and it's got some soul to it too. So um, I'm, I'm really excited about how it's coming out, and I feel like people are going to dig it. Yeah, I've heard your flamenco stuff, and it's almost like baby-making music. Yeah. I know you're really active on Twitter, and I'm sure your fans every other day are asking you out. So what's it going to be? I got some prom proposals. Like, will you go to prom with me? I wish I could go to one one day. I would, I would love to just go to one, but I always get them like, when I'm on the season. But at some point, I, w I will do that. I just want to go to a prom and just, you know, hang out with everybody and just have a good time. I think that would be really, really fun. I would love to just go to one, but... I have one question for you. Uh, will you go to prom with me? Yes, I will indeed. To get a response from you on Twitter and the thanks babe with a little happy face, how does a, how does a fan get one of those? To get something like that from me, you have to be funny, you have to be creative, you have to be smart. Like, if you just keep going, follow me, Follow me, write to me, and then I'm not gonna do it. Like if you make me laugh, or if you post something funny, or um, you know you're creative with it, then that always catches my attention. You know I'm just super grateful that that many people want to follow me and, and um, stay up to date with what I'm doing. And you know I'm really grateful to the fans. So I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to dance. Yes. What you want to learn? What do you got to teach? Oh, I can teach you anything, girl. Have you ever taken a dance lesson before? Yes, many. Taking salsa. Never. Never taking salsa? Never. All right, I'll show you a little salsa. Bit. Heels on or off? It's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. What's easier? Well, usually when we when we first start teaching the girls, they don't do the heels, because a rolled ankle could happen at any time. Heels? And it's never fun. Ah. You just went down five inches. <laughs> Welcome to being a girl. There you go. <laughs> So congratulations on another season of Dancing with the Stars. Thank you, thank you. It's 12 now, 12 in a row for me. And we're going into season 17 next, so. Speaking of the show, I went backstage a few years ago and interviewed Tom, I was in his dressing room, and I asked him who gets more nervous, the pros or the stars, and of course he said the stars. But do you ever get butterflies anymore for anything? Absolutely, I mean, it, here's the thing. We're in a really unique position because as professional dancers, this, it's nothing than what we're used to. Like when we go out as a professional, it's kind of like, you know what you're doing, you know how it's going to go. You know, of course things happen, Like, but with this you don't know. Like, are they going to remember it? Are they going to black out? Are they going to prepare correctly? Because they haven't spent their whole life training in this, so it's really difficult. The things that some of these celebrities learn in three months is, is like, ridiculous. It's literally like a, a three-month crash course of, you know, ballroom dancing. And when you got the perfect score with Ali? It was awesome. We had to work for that score. Like We didn't get one till the very end, but I was really proud of Allie because she wasn't the most natural when it came to musicality, to counting. As a gymnast, they don't 
use music. Like when they do their floor routines, they don't go like five, six, seven, and eight. Like they just they just go. Like there's no do that again. <laughs> there's no sense of musicality at all. So for that, you have to. Um, I had to teach her from scratch, like how to. She couldn't do that to the beat. Like couldn't hear the one, couldn't hear the five, couldn't hear anything. So teaching someone that from scratch. And then getting them to go out in front of 20 million people and dance was definitely a challenge, but she overcame it, and she overcame it beautifully. I'm going to do it a little quicker now. Okay. I'm going to do it to tempo. So you go, one, two, three, two, two, three. Three, turn underneath. Three, back on the right. One, two, three, sideways. Boom, turn. <laughs> Woo! Bam! Oh, okay. Done. High five on that. That's impressive. <laughs>